Welcome to the 1980s in a rural farm in northern Missouri, Grandpa's Farm. Yeehaw! Welcome in everyone to another episode of Grandpa's Farm 1980 style. In today's episode we're going to start working on this new cornfield across the street from the house. We've got it plowed up last time around. Today we've got to get the soil ready. We're going to run up to the the co-op and get some lime. I've looked and it looks like we can get some lime in these wagons here. And just dump it in the corner of our field, load it up into our fertilizer cart. And then we'll spread that lime and then get to planting. this is your first time, we would love for you to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any future episodes here on Grandpa's Farm. Up the road in town here is where we should be able to pick up some lime. Here's the little town close by. I believe right up next to this truck is where we can buy some lime and fertilizer. Lime, perfect. We only have around $20,000 available, so hopefully this doesn't set us back too much. Not sure how much lime that field's going to need, but we'll just we'll fill them both up because we'll, we always have that other part of the ground there that's still in hay that we could fertilize or uh, not fertilize, but lime in the future. Oh yeah, fifteen hundred dollars a wagon. That's not much. Not bad at all. Not sure what that would have cost back in the '80s, but today's price. That's what they're charging us. Let's get this back to the house. I apologize for the last episode. It, the audio was was messed up pretty bad for the engine sounds. The vehicles were really loud and the my voice was not. All right, let's see if we can dump this out. There we go. Pour it on the ground here, and then we'll bring the fertilizer truck over. I'm not sure if, our, if we could actually put any of this in our bin or not. Maybe we'll try that with the second trailer. In real life, this lime would never come out of one of these gravity flow wagons. I had enough trouble getting corn to come out of them. Once they get sold, they're not very slick anymore on the inside. There we go, one down. Let's see real quick if we can put it in. Oh. Have to get a tractor to get us over that little pile of lime. See how we can do with just one of the wagons. Let's see if we can dump the other one in the bin. Yeah, we'll dump here. While that's doing that, we will try to get our pickup off the line pile. This 
wagon out of the way. Then we'll grab the 2110 fertilizer spreader and get it loaded up. I'm not sure when Wilmar came out and was available as a fertilizer spreader. But I do know when we would rent them from MFA, this is what you would get. Look just like these. Some did have a gas engine on the front, but most of them were all PTO driven. See how many liters these wagons hold. I think it'll actually fill up pretty quick. But I'll finish filling it. And then we'll start spreading. Well, that's almost full. Enough to get started. One thing we've learned with lime, don't use auger wagons. And if you're going to use auger wagons, cheat by putting them in your bin. Alright, here we go. This tractor has the power to go. It should. Ooh, that's a pretty wide spread. It's a pretty good spread for lime. Won't take too awful long to get all the way around this. We're going through it pretty quick, so I think we would need two wagon fulls. If not for this one, for the other half of the field whenever we plow it up. I don't think we can plant our corn until tomorrow. We're still in March and we're using two day months. finish spreading this lime and then get a planter hooked up and get start getting it ready. If you know of any implements that you've seen in Farming Simulator that are based better in the 80s than say this fertilizer cart here, leave that in the comments and I'd be more than happy to add one in. As I know not not all of our implements are based on the right time period. I've just I really struggled finding some older implements to pull. The tractors were, you know, real life tractors that we had. Some of these implements weren't necessarily based in the 80s. Now we're going to use up most of this wagon pull. Which is good because we're also going to need this wagon for fertilizer. Still have a little bit of a pile over in the corner of the field. There we go. Catch that little bit there on our way. There's a little stretch up here I might have missed. There. Get this wagon right here. Oliver up to our Kinsey planter here. And I'm going to run the pickup to town and get a pallet of seed. 
Oop, way off. Way off. Here we are. Oh. Here in the, actually, I think we'll just take it over to the field. It'll be a lot easier to put bags of seed in it over there. Carts all opened up. Alright, let's head to town. Wagging off the trail here so we can get around easier. Turn into town. I think we'll just pick up one bag of or one pallet of seed first. Hopefully, hopefully it'll be enough. It'll cost us nine hundred and fifty dollars for this pallet of seed, which is cheap compared to today's standards. all ready to plan in the morning, weather permitting. I haven't even checked the forecast. But remember, it's the 1980s. Was the forecast any worse than it is now? <laughs> there we go. Once trapped. Back in the tractor. There we go. Fill it up. This one looks like they yeah, took all the seed. 86% full. Oh, it's pretty close. Pretty good. Find the right button to close them. Well, now we'll be ready for in the morning. I think we've got everything else done. Back to the house, call it a day, get up in the morning and go back to work. Typical farming life, except for you want to be done at 11 o'clock in the morning. Well, here we are, the first day of April. Partly cloudy skies. Everything else good enough to start our corn planting. Here, I think good enough place as any. Get started. Now I can get the right button to put the markers down. So we don't have GPS back these days. Do it the hard way. This is actually the type of tractor my grandpa used to do all the planting back in the 80s. Like I said, not positive if this was the model number of Oliver, but it is the same design and style. It would have been a white air planter. I'll finish getting this seeded up and maybe we can get some fertilizer put on it today. We're wrapping the cornfield up here. Just a little stretch at the other end of the field to catch. We'll have our first cornfield of the year in. 
we'll have the south place to figure out what we're going to do down there. Get this done, we'll take a quick spin down there and show you it. Tell me what you think we should do. Got a lot of open ground. It's the new purchase on the farm. We'll park this and we'll grab the pickup. Run right down there. Check it out. Got a whole bunch of lime left. Got a lot more lime than we needed. up here and go down to the south place. We actually have a drive through our property to get back down there. It's a lot easier than taking the road. trail. I have to go through the creek. As long as the creek's not too high. There we go. Not too bad. what we call the south place. Got all this open land here that we could till up, turn it into more row crop. Actually on the other side of these trees it continues on. All this open area is also part of the south place. Plenty of ground, we could turn some of it into a pasture Make a hay field down here or just more row crop? If you leave a message in the comments, let me know what you think we should do. This here is the south place. Well, that'll do it for today's episode. We hope you have a wonderful, blessed day. And until next time, bye bye